students have access to Gmail in order to email their teachers in Campbell Union School District. So once you have logged into Clever, you can scroll down on that main Clever page to find your Google Apps and there will be an icon that will take you to Gmail. So we can click on that Gmail button and this is your main Gmail window. Here in the center is where you will see the list of any messages that have been sent to you. And on the left side is a menu where you can either compose or write a new email address, or you can look for any emails that you may have sent or that are saved as draft. Um, and there are also some other menus here. If you want to write a new email, you click on this compose plus sign. And in the to bar, you will start typing the email address of the teacher that you want to email. And once that person's name pops up, you can actually stop typing here and click on that address. In the subject line, you wanna think of this like the title of a book or an article. You wanna put a clear and concise subject for the teacher to know what the email is going to be about. And then in this larger area, you're gonna click to write your letter. And when you're typing an email, you wanna write it the same way that you would write a letter to a friend or to um, someone that you work with or go to school with. So we're gonna start with a greeting. comma, and then hit enter or return to go to the next line. That's off. And now I can say, and I want to make sure to use punctuation and complete sentences again, just like I would in any other letter. And then at the end, sign it and put my name. If there's any attachments I want to add to this, say, for example, there's a picture that I want to send my teacher, maybe it's a picture of a workbook page or something I'm working on I need help with, um, I can use this paperclip icon to attach a file. I also can click down here on the Google Drive icon and I can attach files that way. And there's also this insert photo button. And so if there's a photo saved on my computer, I could just click on insert photo as well. If I decide I don't want to send this, this trash can, trash can icon always means delete. But if I am ready to send, then I'm going to click on this blue send button and the message will send to my teacher. I can check messages I sent on the left side of the screen by clicking on the sent button. You can also see that when you hover over a message on your message list, you have some icons pop up here. So if you have old messages you wanna delete, you can click that trash can to delete them. If you open an email and then you want it actually to mark as unread, meaning it will pop up as bold and it will show as a number here on the inbox list, um, you can click that and the message will go back to being an unread message. And if I want to go back to my inbox, I just go right back here to inbox. And this is where the list of messages are that I receive from my teachers. When I want to go ahead and read one, I can click here on the message to open it up fully. And I can read what the message is that I received. And again, at the top of the message, if I need to delete it, I can delete it here. And I have some other tools up here as well to help me mark the message if need be. And this arrow here will let me go back to my Gmail inbox.